They all want to play for Dan Quinn. Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco, home of the Dallas Cowboys here in the fishbowl. Uh, I won't tell you who told that to me. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll let him, I'll let him say it in his time and his way. But somebody who, uh, whose opinion you should respect uh, says they all want to play for Dan Quinn, the new Cowboys defensive coordinator. Some of them will get to. Uh, DeMonte Casey, he gets to. He gets to jump from Atlanta to Dallas, uh, roll in at free safety, play in a system that he knows for a coach that he apparently loves. Keanu O'Neill gets to do it. Jump from Atlanta, where he was strong safety, come here and play kind of a hybrid role, as we've discussed many times, exclusive, exclusive. Uh, He's a will, he's a strong safety, he's down in the box, uh, he's covering tight ends, he's doing all kinds of things uh, in, in a hybrid sort of a way. And he came out and said it uh, regarding his attraction to playing for Dan Quinn. He was in a visit with our friend Jane Slater and Bobby Belt at NFL Network, and he said... Quinn brings a lot of energy. He's very hands-on. He'll have on his tennis shoes, but he'll be out there showing you how to do it. Uh, and then he said, he's a father figure. That that's the kind of coach he is. So we know that he's a tough guy, and we know that he's passionate. Remember what Troy Aikman told us not too long ago in his support. Uh, Aikman talked about how he's... Uh, he, he's, I wish I could remember exactly the phrasing, but Aikman's a professional broadcaster. You know, he comes up with his own. But he was talking about what a tough guy is, with, with, but yet so kind-hearted. That he's a, he's a very sweet, tough guy, Dan Quinn. The K.J. Wright thing was largely driven by his desire to reunite with Dan Quinn. Yet another guy who wanted to play for Quinn and didn't get to. And... This is the word I'm getting, is that over the course of time, and I'm not saying this didn't happen with other defensive coordinators. Um, obviously, there's people that, hey, I, I had a good experience with Mike Nolan. I'd like to play with him again. Good experience with Coach Marinelli. Do it again. Good experience with Coach Ryan. Let's do it again. Certainly that happened. But what I'm told from inside that building is there's just an overwhelming movement of people who have a Seattle association with Dan Quinn or an Atlanta association with Dan Quinn that somehow, some way, want to reignite that association. Now, there's only so many you can sign at a time. There's only so many openings at a time. But if Dan Quinn is here long term, and wouldn't that be nice, uh, that this defense would be successful enough to justify that, then there will be another wave next year of guys who know him, know his system, know that he's a tough sweetheart, and know that he represents a father figure sort of guy to players. Of course, you know K.J. Wright also has called him a defensive genius. Richard Sherman, who as we speak to you now, still unsigned, another guy that played with Dan Quinn, and I bet you would like to find a reunion with Dan Quinn somehow, some way. They, they both rave about his football intellect and his teaching ability. And if you'll recall our reports from last fall, Jane Slater at NFL Network, and then what we reported here, uh, and on 105 through the fan, and on Cowboys SI, uh, the, the, the view of those players at the beginning of last season is that many people on McCarthy's staff did not have a good grasp of teaching and communication. Uh, and that was from the very start. This, from the very start, has a different feel to it. Uh, that Dan Quinn uh, understands this system, is a master of it and understands how to teach it, and will have very receptive students who view him the way Keanu Neal says he views him, who, and, and he gets to play for him, who view him the way K.J. Wright says he views him, although it's not going to work out for K.J. Wright here, who view Dan Quinn the way Richard Sherman says he views him, and we'll see where Richard Sherman ends up playing. Mike Fisher reporting on the Dallas Cowboys. Fish out.